Hi guys, so let's recap a bit uh, on the concept of limiting reagent. So let's take an example. Uh, we Let's say we're making pie and for us to be able to make pie, we need two apples and one pack of flour to be able to make one pie. So let's say we have four apples and one uh, pack of flour because we have one pack of flour we would still be able to make only one pie which means that we have two apples extra two extra apple which means that the apples are in excess here and that the flour is limiting the number of pies that we can make even if we had a hundred of apples and one pack of flour we would still be able to make only one pie on the other hand uh, if we had four apples and six packs of flour, so each two apples, so the ratio of apple to flour is two is to one, which means that four apples will require only two packs of flour, which means that we have an excess of four packs of flour. So, which means that we would only be able to make two pies so in this example it's the apple that is limiting the amount of pies that we can make so similarly when we are having a reaction there is when you have when especially you have been given the mass of both reagents both reactants there's generally one of them which is in excess and one which is limiting the reaction so whenever you are given uh, the 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 number the, the mass or the number of moles of both reagent find the limiting reagent before you start any uh process so let's see how we do this one so we have the mass of magnesium and we have the mass of um, hydrochloric acid so we'll go ahead and find the number of moles of magnesium and number of moles of hydrochloric acid so here we have the number of moles of each one what we'll do next is so this is um, a, 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 the, the calculation. So from the equation, so magnesium is to HCl, the mole ratio is 1 is to 2. I will write the number of moles of magnesium that I have, 0 0.05, number of moles of HCl, 0 0.075, and I will divide by the mole ratio, divide by 1, divide by 2. So when I did this, this is the smallest value. So because it is the smallest value, we're going to say that this is the limiting reagent, which means that HCl is limiting. And so HCl is limiting and that magnesium is in excess. Now let's see the second example. So again, we have the mass of both. So we're going to go ahead and find the number of moles of this and the number of moles of this. And we'll use the mole ratio to find which one is going to be the limiting. So we've got the number of moles, mass divided by ML values. And we went, uh, so we went ahead and wrote the mole ratio of the two. And I'm going to write the number of moles of each one of them. So 0 0.1, and it's a coincidence that both of them have the same number of moles. But let's divide by the mole ratio. So 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. You see, this one is the smallest value, which means that this is limiting. Right. Now, because this is limiting, whenever we're going to go ahead uh, for any calculation, we are going to use the number of moles of uh, the ethanoic acid. And remember that when we are using the number of moles of ethanoic acid, we are going to use here, number of moles is mass over MR. This is what we are going to use. Do not use any values that you get from over here from this calculation from the side calculation to find the limiting do not use any of these values so this is why i did that as a rough work okay so i'm going to use the number of moles of ethanoic acid to calculate the number of moles of hydrogen gas so from the equation two is to one so that's the mole ratio 
okay and the number of moles of ch3co which i have is 0 0.1 so half of this is going to be 0 0.05 so the number of moles of hydrogen gas produced is 0 0.05 from the mole ratio volume of hydrogen gas remember that one mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cube so the volume of hydrogen gas or any gas would be 0 0.05 times 24 so that's the volume of hydrogen gas